All right, let me, okay, let me, let me just explain some things. Okay. Okay. Ashley, Brianna has worked on Juan's staff for over, for three years. So that relationship is not new to me. Now, the laundromat story was a straight lie, and that's the thing that is really unfortunate that people are out here putting out blatant lies when they say, oh, they were hugged up, putting stuff in the washing machine. That didn't happen. Although Juan was not smart in communicating with the female in Canada, he's not dumb enough to be anywhere in public being affectionate and physical with another woman. So for me, the two incidents you say are two distinct things. So I think that the thing that happened in, with the girl from Canada is a different situation than the coach. As right. far as with Coach Bree, I think it's more so the sensitivity of the optics. And if I were one, I would probably operate a little bit more cognizant or aware of what's happening just for a minute, and you know? Literally, I told him, I'm like, he's telling me, oh, we're, I'm going to nail salon, Bree's going to come out and say hi. I'm like, Juan, the block is hot. And he's like, Okay, whatever. Like, am I supposed to just like yes, sit in the house? Yes, because he made the mistake back <laughs> yes. with with the hotel. No, I, but I'm see that it's just I don't. Yes, he's not thinking. How is this going to affect Robin? All right, so what do you want me to do? Get mad at him and scream and throw a shoe at him? Oh my God, I can't believe you went to the nail salon with Brianna. Oh my God, how could you do that? Like that? Is that what you want me to do? He is not thinking about you saying, you know what? This is bad optics. I'm not going to tell him to end his friendship. I'm not going to tell him, oh, you can't do certain things that were fine before. At this point, I don't care what Robin. I don't. We're just talking about you, your happiness, your joy. Are you good? So you have three different types of tuna. OK, which one Salmon. tastes better? We're going to try it all. We're going to try it all. OK, and then. Scallops? Oh. Say no more. We're gonna do cooked scallops and we're gonna do Ross the salmon and tuna. I have a bigger pan. Do you? Yeah, I do. Okay, let me get that. Bigger's that way I, I can bend over and you can check oh, out the scene. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> Not looking. <laughs> All right, like something like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is better? That'll keep things from popping up. And... So Jason is 16 years younger than you. What are the benefits to dating a younger man? Jason's how many years younger than me? 16. No one's counting. Do you want me to stop dancing? No, <laughs> never. <laughs> mama gotta live. You know, mama's been mama for a long time, but I got to live, I got to do my thing. And I did run up on this guy named Jason, and he's a young, hot thing, a little tenderoni. When I first met Jason, Ashley introduced us, and for whatever reason, Jason and I definitely just clicked. He has been keeping me quite occupied, and the West Wing is seeing some things it hasn't seen in a while.